Hey guys, CV Super. Uh, today I'm going to be going over on how to download the new version of DaVinci Resolve 16.2 and go ahead and install it. I'm only going to show you how to do it on a Mac because I am on a MacBook. First of all, if you already have DaVinci Resolve, the next time you load it up, it's going to prompt you to actually download the newest version, 16.2. So if you're on 16.1.2, and if you're not sure what version you're on, let me go ahead and show you how to see what version you're actually on. Okay, so here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you're ever curious what version you're on, all you have to do is come up to the very top here where it says DaVinci Resolve, click on it, and About DaVinci Resolve will let you know. This will pop up. It'll tell you what version you're on. I'm currently on version 16.1.2. First thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to exit out completely. Make sure everything is saved the way that you like. And then you can come to this blackmagicdesign.com forward slash products forward slash DaVinci Resolve forward slash and that will bring you to the DaVinci Resolve download page. Now all we have to do is click on the download button. It's going to give you the option of either downloading the DaVinci Resolve 16 or the DaVinci Resolve 16 Studio. I am using the free version so I'm going to go to Mac OS X if you're on a Windows or a Linux PC. Feel free to click on those. Once you click on that, it's going to ask you all of this stuff. Just go ahead and fill all of this stuff out, register and download. All right, so once you go ahead and click on that, if it doesn't already automatically download, which it should be, then you can just go ahead and click on this uh, DaVinci Resolve 16.2 Max Zip. Okay, and once you've downloaded, now all you have to do is come over to the DaVinci Resolve 16.2 Max Zip, go ahead and unzip that, let it do its thing. Double click on the .dmg file. All right, so this is very important. And this is something a lot of you guys ask where I get a lot of my information for all of the Fusion stuff. A manual comes with every version of DaVinci Resolve. So once you get to this screen, it's really simply, all you do is you take this, you drag it over and you drop it onto your desktop. And that's gonna download the manual just right onto your desktop. Now, whenever you want to look something up, all you gotta do is double click on it. It's going to go ahead and load it. And something that's really, really handy is this search function up here. Say I want to learn a little bit about the alpha channel. All I got to do is type in alpha channel. It's going to go ahead and run through the entire manual, and it's going to find all of the articles that have to do with the alpha channel. So alpha channel is uh, very popular. You're going to see probably, I don't know, a million articles are all going to pop up. Uh, just take into consideration that you are going to have to sift through each one of those every time it's mentioned in anywhere inside that manual. But I'll tell you what, it's very handy. And if you guys aren't doing that, that is a really simple tip. Once you've downloaded that, now you can go ahead and click on the install resolve 16.2. Again, make sure that you are not, you know, you don't have DaVinci Resolve up. Once you get to this screen, it's going to say install DaVinci Resolve. Go ahead and continue. Read it if you want to. Um, the nice thing about this is it's going to tell you exactly what things have been changed and what things have been updated. All right. Uh, so once you've read through it or you've gotten enough information out of it, just go ahead and hit continue. I'm going to be using uh, English. I agree. Installation type. It's going to take about 2.99 gigs of space on your computer. Make sure you have that much room on your computer. Type in whatever your password is. This part may take a few minutes to uh, a few hours. Just kidding. Shouldn't take that long. All right. Now the installation was successful. You can go ahead and close out. On a Mac, it'll ask if you want to remove this and put it in the trash. I do. I don't usually keep those stuff around. You can go ahead and X out of all this stuff here. I like to keep this manual uh, handy and actually usually if you ever watch any of my videos a lot of the times you can see that I usually have like like I still have the resolve 16.1 manual open uh, that's because on pretty much whenever I'm doing my tutorials I usually will reference manuals and go back and forth jump uh, so I'm guessing this 16.2 may have some updates but probably not a whole lot of updates the manuals haven't really changed over too much over the years Usually anytime there is a new function, it hopefully will be addressed inside the newer, newest version of the manual. So keep that in mind. All right. Then you can just go to your launch pad and pop open whatever you, wherever your DaVinci Resolve is. So I noticed that did take a little bit longer to start loading. And that's probably just because it's the uh, first time we're loading up DaVinci Resolve 16.2. All right. So um, I can see that I can still access all of my old projects. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. 
just call it Untitled Project 26 because that's what number I'm on. So you'll see I have the Edit, Fusion, Color, Fairlight, Deliver tab. Um, you may see more tabs, and that is because I have disabled the Media and the Cut tabs. Um, you will probably see more tabs. The nice thing is that it has kept all of my settings. So now if I come over to DaVinci Resolve, I can go click on About, and it'll, you'll see it says 16.2, so it has been updated. So if you are using an older version, that is, that's nice that it will maintain all of your settings the way that you want it. Now let's go check out, see if my power bins are still there. Yep, all the stuff in my power bins are still here. These are actually all red and that's just because I have disconnected the file paths. I, ha I had to hide everything inside this folder here. Uh, it, once I'm done making this video, I'll go ahead and throw it back all on my desktop and then my file path will be correct again. So all of your file paths should be fine. This stuff will all be still connected on your power bins. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's how you download and install DaVinci Resolve 16.2, the latest version of DaVinci Resolve as of the recording of this video, which is sometime in uh, March 2020. If you guys liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.